it's a peanut welcome to my channel if you are a returned subscriber thank you for subscribing if you are brand new to my channel hello my name is peanut i am a full-time reseller on the poshmark app and a stay-at-home mom of three boys and i've kind of been on a roll of filming and uploading videos to my youtube channel and i'm trying to be more consistent and uh, i kind of figured the way best way to film is to especially my outlet, outlet haul videos um is to film after i list so all these items are yeah i had to think about it all these items are listed in my poshmark closet already if you are interested definitely check the link down below but we are going to get this started while the kids are taking a nap the first item is an American Eagle short, um, a cargo short. Love selling American Eagle. It's definitely one of my favorite brands to resell. Another American Eagle. This is a Extreme Flex Slim Taper. Does not have the size tag. Um, I put down the size four, but I'm actually gonna update it now that I'm looking at it. I think this is more of a size two, but it's in very good condition. Next item is these J. Crew shorts, size 12. Oops. And then Guess, um, a metal studded short. And I do love selling, um, I do sell all type of clothes all season. I don't, I list everything just because you never know who's going to buy what. Next item is a um, loft skirt. I love this skirt. It is such a cute little pattern. Very straight skirt. And then love active wear. Active wear is a very good thing to sell. And this is from um, Tough Athletics. And this is a size extra large. Just this neon capri leggings. And then this is a pink Victoria's Secret leggings, um, size small, just very simple and blue, blue, gray, and um, black. This one has already sold already. It's a turd size four active camel uh, leggings. And um, I sold this for $13. And it sold, I listed it yesterday, and it sold yesterday. So that was amazing. Next is a BDG Urban Outfitters. Um, this is a low-rise dolphin short. And this is a new brand to me. Artisan New York. Artisan NY. Oops, if this shows. Artisan NY Capri Embroidered. Um, I picked it up and I'm going to experiment with it. So, I don't know. I've checked comps on it. There, There's nothing really um, for that. But... Next is a Free People short, size 29, Distress and Acid Wash. Another American Eagle uh -oh. jeans. These are an artist size 4 regular with the exposed button and braided belt. And this has a wide, wide um, cuff hem. Next item is a Miss Me, Miss Me jeans size 27. I've been on a roll with finding Miss Me's um, lately, and this one's in pretty good condition. Um, so how I'm changing up my listings for Miss Me's now, um, I'm using the pockets, a picture of the pockets as the, the cover picture of the item, um, since it's a more decorative. So I'm changing that up, I'm experimenting with it. Next item is another American Eagle short. This is just a plain short. Nothing too exciting about that, but I'm hoping it sells soon. Next item um, is a jean from the brand Rude. And I think this is carried at Hot Topics. Um, new brand to me to resell. I picked it up because it's black and it's skinny. Um, so we'll see if it sells. Not hot holding for my breath or any high dollar amount with that, but I'm hoping to get 10 to $15. And then this is exciting. This is my first Not Your Daughter jeans. Um, 
fine. I actually found another Not Your Daughter jeans the same day I thrifted this, but it was a little bit more worn out, so I didn't pick it up. Um, this one, though, does have flaws on the bottom, some wear and tear, and I did list this on my listings, um, but we'll see if this sells. I'll be right back. I gotta grab so, a baby. So I'm back with little Ben. He's been a little bit moody as of late, and he just kind of does not want to lay down sleeping in a burrito no more. Um, so... He's probably going to just be hanging out here on my lap. And I do have like a little blinky set up here. So don't worry. He's not on the ground. He's pretty chillax as long as he um he's on. He's near me. So I'm hoping he's pretty good throughout the rest of this video. Next item is a skirt from Ann Taylor. And it's just this fun skater skirt. So circle skirt. A pleated circle skirt. Another American Eagle brand jean. This is a stretch artist and distressed jean. And this is a new brand to me. This is trademark slim boot size 24. So it is a plus size. Um, I picked it up to experiment with it. So we'll see if this brand sells for me. I haven't gotten much attention to it just yet. I think because it's a bigger size, but I don't know the reason why. Some plus size are a hit and miss for me. Next item is this wool wrench capri. Just a simple capri with the ruched um, sides on the end. And next item is Gap. I love selling Gap. I cannot say that enough. Gap legging skimmer jeans. These are size 14. I think that's considered plus size, but very simple jeans. And then this one is a fun find. It's a Harley Davidson jean with patchworks on it, and this is a size 4. There's some patchwork on there, and then on the back. And I do have a lot of interest on this. Nothing solid just yet. But I actually sold a Harley Davidson jean already that I found with the same um, day I thrifted this one. So I'm hoping this one sells soon. I will go over in detail um, on another video coming up soon, hopefully, uh, what sold over the weekend. And that, is, that other Harley Davidson jean sold during that video. I love picking up scarves during the season, especially oversized scarf. So it's just an oversized plaid scarf. And then Hollister um, skinny jeans. I'm experimenting with Hollister jeans currently. My nose is super itchy. I'm experimenting with Hollister jeans, um, skinny jeans, and I'm going to see how fast they turn over for me and if I should start picking them up because I sourced at the Goodwill Benz. Um, sorry, he's, a, he's stretching over here. I sourced at the Goodwill Benz, and I find a lot of Hollister. So this is my first couple experiments with them. I'm hoping they sell. I have about like 10 Hollister jeans. So maybe I bought too much. Maybe I didn't, but I'm hoping it sells. Next is an a and &E, a new approach, size 27 um, bootcut jeans. And a and &E tend to do pretty well for me, so I like picking them up. Next is a cut from the cloth, um, Mia Toothpick Skinny Pants. I love selling cut pants and jeans. They do amazing for me. I did notice, though, that I've been holding on to them a little bit longer, usually two months before they sell, but um, they sell for like $20 to $25, so I... I don't mind holding it for that long. Next is Gap Active Wear tights. And I am experimenting with Gap as well. Gap Active. To, um, I sold a couple Ac Gap Active already. And I'm hoping to sell this one soon. So there's that. This is a new Tig Bowler hat. Style hat. There it goes. And I don't plan to get much for this. But I picked it up because it's new with takes. Next item is this Harry Potter pajama set, size extra large. 
here's fun pajamas and then a new tag um cat and jack yep cat and jack pom-pom scarf for little girls that's adorable and then a victoria's secret bras cannot say enough i love selling them i picked them up at the thrift store they're super easy to list and they generally sell for um seven to fifteen dollars depending on the bra style um and for how quick a, of an easy flip it is for me i don't mind selling it next is a new lift tag hat um from our our Bertrand's swan pole and it's a collaboration with target but it's 100 percent wool and there's that tag there Next item, can I buy the top part for this? There it goes. Next item is a Victoria's Secret swim suit set. And this is just this fun print. And then the top part actually has um, two, I have two parts for the top part. I don't know where the other one is. Okay, so there's this one that's like more of a tube tie. And then this one that's, uh, a halter tie so there's that next item is a macrame beaded bucket backpack there's that and the inside is pretty okay I do have to give it a quick rinse and then let this air dry but it's um, listed and it's pretty next item is a pink Victoria's Secret tote Nike Kids Youth Snapback. And then Victoria's Secret Swimwear. I love selling them even though um, I don't find the like total outfit. Because sometimes bikinis, you can sell them as separate and they'll still sell. So I picked this up. It's white with just fun pink sequins. And then a Victoria's Secret set. Oh wait, this is not the set. Where's the bottom part? Okay, so another Victoria's Secret set, um, bottom, black bottoms, and then there's two tops that goes with it. So there's this one and this one, Tri both triangles, so whichever, the, whichever way you want to wear it. Another Victoria's Secret swim top. And then a vintage Nike snapback. A Congo hat, baseball hat, um, flex fit, and if there's a trend going on, there definitely is. I'm experimenting with snapbacks, hats, baseball caps as well. I see them a lot when I go to the thrift store, but I never pick them up because I don't know how to like properly sell them or if they're going to be something that sells. So I've been picking them up just to kind of experiment with it. Um, I'm not sure if I showed this item already, but I might might have it's in the box of stuff that i didn't film so i'm gonna film it anyways but i found this macrame vintage um crochet wristlet clutch there's that and i think i've already this did i show film this but i can't say for sure i'm getting confused with stuff next item is this michael kors scarf there's the gold and cream scarf and then I found this cute little animal print, um, like little leopard makeup bag. And I did some research on it though, and it's from Walmart. So I'm kind of like kicking myself for not looking at it at the thrift store, at the outlet, but I never check comps when I'm at the outlet. So um, I might end up just keeping this for myself because it is cute and I do need a new one. Next item are these slippers, flats from Hush Puppies, a size 10, I think. Oh, Hush Puppies. 10, yeah. These are size 10, wide Hush Puppies with little sequins on them. And then Sam Edelman, Edelman Goldie Gladiator Sandals. And then a animal print scarf, a ruched scarf with fringe. 
And a new Tig Bath and Body Works tote. And this just has a fun sunglass on it. Um, another swimsuit. This one has no brand, but it has very fun embroidery on the top of it. And it's a triangle bra. Uh, triangle bra. So I picked it up based off on style. The next is an American Eagle jean tote bag. And then a macrame crochet bucket purse. And then a coach leather bag, a uh, leather bag, a coach leather belt and it's British tan. There's that. And it's actually in very good condition. So I'm excited about that. And then another snapback. It's an Under Armour Youth snapback. And I just realized some flaws with it now that I'm looking at it. It looks like the snap pad, snap part like melted or got ripped really bad. So I'm going to have to either list that or take this off my listing or give it to my son. But there's that. And then last but not least, our ties. I am experimenting with ties. I've been experimenting with ties for the longest now. I've had some luck with some of them, some I don't. But I picked up ties because I like at the Goodwill Bones, they're everywhere. Um, so I picked this up more for the holidays that's coming up. It's a Christmas holiday scarf from tie from Prescott Bay, 100% silk. A Christian Dwyer, Dwyer, Dwyer tie in this fun color. And then this is uh, Etna Anger. I think that's how you pronounce it. I do not know how to pronounce it. I still don't, but I sell the brand. I still don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and then next is a Giorgio Sarmonida. Sarman, and I picked this up because it said made in Italy. And then last but not least is this scarf here that doesn't have a brand name. It is 100% silk. And I think there is an R number, RN number. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um what I found it out as. So RN20170 all silk fabric imported from Italy made in the USA. So there's a, that. That is it for this haul video. Again everything is definitely listed in my Poshmark closet. If you're interested check the link down below and please make sure you subscribe and like if you're brand new to my channel. Leave a comment down below what's your favorite item from this haul. And if you like this kind of haul video where I list and then I go over the haul, um, go over the haul of what I listed. Or if you want to just see everything all at once. Definitely let me know and I shall see you on my next video. Bye bye.